Hey Scorps, it's me Shawnee, Scorpio Inc, Scorpio Only Tarot. Welcome, welcome. It's the 9th of the 12th of 21. It is Thursday here in New Zealand. Uh, I'm in Christchurch, by the way, and it is overcast and like dreary. But we have a very fiery set of cards today. Sorry, oh my God, I'm so disgusting. <laughs> I'm only human. I'm only human. Okay. Let's cleanse the energy so that we can get stuck into it. All right. We've got Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, and Eight of Pentacles. It really looks like there is some fiery movement towards something that we might want. Uh, passionate messages and there's also a focus on work could be an increase in money but looking at the queen of pentacles she's already got everything that she wants and needs but she could probably have more page of wands coming in with a passionate message could be travel it is a travel card uh, could be travel towards somebody that you want to see and have passionate times with. I don't know. <laughs> I'm getting a little carried away here. And then <laughs> total focus on uh, on work. Pentacles, money. And why not, Scorps? We're always about the money. Let's not get it twisted. Okay, I'm going to pull three more cards. And FYI, the reason that I'm doing a Scorpio only uh, daily read, daily vibe today is because the collective read was so depressing. If you don't know, Catalyst Tarot NZ, I do dailies, uh, collective reads, and oh my god, I've noticed this week that a lot of signs are having a lot of shit happen, but, when it, but Scorpios are kind of sitting pretty. And I, I don't know. I don't know why, but let's see. This could take a turn. <laughs> I better not jinx it. Three more, cut, three more cards. Ace of Cups in reverse. The Fool. Pentacles. I, I knew I should have just opened my mouth. I'm getting a real work vibe today, Scorps, um, and it's positive. Okay, it looks like love is on the back burner. Um, we've got taking a leap of faith with the full card, and we've got the Nine of Pentacles, independent, um, independent, fruitful. Nine of Pentacles is like quite content with what we have. I like this energy. I do. I really like it. All right, let's clarify. Queen of Wands. Outspoken, fiery, knows what she wants, goes after it. Um, could be a mother figure. Easily be a mother. Um... Let's get a clarification for the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Okay, Two of Pentacles. Bit of juggling. So the energy is stable. The energy is passionate still. But there's a little bit of oh I've got to do this and I've got to do that but I think Queen of Wands is c totally capable why is the Page of Wands here Knight of Pentacles in reverse someone's coming in or a message is coming in or some travel is ha happening faster than Scorpio thought because once upon a time it was slow moving energy now Someone's got a fire lit under their ass. Could have something to do with work. Eight 
Eight of Pentacles is clarified with the Hermit in Reverse. This tells me that there's been some introspection around, like, making something happen, making um, making money. There's been there's been a shift in the way you make money, and it's because of some time out where you've thought, what's a better way to make money? Or what's a what's a better what's a strategy that I can use? That's what I'm getting with that. Scorps, let me know. Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is Ace of Cups in reverse here, please? Ace of Cups in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Scorps. Love is on the back burner because you'd rather be doing something that you you like wishing that something would start but it's not it's on the back burner um star card i feel like when it comes to love scorps you're like dreams are free <laughs> I mean, yesterday it was all love. Today it's more pentacles, so it's more like... Uh, love is on the back burner. Love is on the back burner. But there is the full card here, so... There is taking a leap of faith. Too many. But why is it here? Oh, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles upright. So either you or a masculine... Um, or an older, you know, mature person is going to take a risk. Um, King of Pentacles, it, it makes me feel like taking a risk in business, taking a risk when it comes to money. Uh, these two cards together, it kind of gives me the gambling vibe. And I don't usually get a gambling vibe but this is what I get with this so you're taking a gamble on something but I feel as though you're confident about it okay nine of pentacles nine of pentacles please why's the nine of pentacles here why's the nine of pentacles here yeah so there's there's a sense of independence staying independent uh, we've got the Ace of Cups in reverse twice. <sighs> Scorps. This is just screaming at me that when it comes to love today, it's like, mm, yeah, I'm not too sure about that actually. I've got better things to do because love is kind of disappointing. Um, or it could just be the fact that there's a situation or an opportunity today um, where you can make some money or you can put a business idea forward or you come up with a business idea. Um, and I get that with the Eight of Pentacles and the Hermit in Reverse. It's about, oh, why didn't I think of that before? Why did I let emotions and, and romance and love get in the way of me actually moving forward with my business? with my money, uh, the way I make money. And I think you're, today, the Queen of Wands, it's like, the Queen of Wands can handle this energy. The Queen of Wands will handle this energy. Being a, fire, being a fiery energy, it's like, I can juggle this energy. I can juggle work and love being on the back burner. So it means that she's going to keep her options open, but she's going to juggle the idea it's it's like it's like love is still there. It's just on the back burner. I just keep hearing back burner, back burner. Okay, okay, it is what it is. It's what we're getting today. Ooh. Okay, let's get three romance oracle cards. One, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, but keep an open mind regardless. Because love is on the back burner today. Keep our focus on our pentacles. 
Wow, that flew. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. You may have had a disappointment when it comes to love. Um, so, whether or not they are your soulmate, you can't force somebody to want the same things as you. So, you know, depending on the, if the energy's there, like yesterday, the energy was there. The cards were saying it was there. But if the person didn't have the free, like they didn't use their free will to their advantage to take, like if they didn't take advantage of that energy and it didn't happen, well then of course Scorpio is going to be in this energy of, fuck it then, I'll focus on my money. That's where it's at. <laughs> Scorpies, Scorpies. That's how we do it, man. It's like, oh, okay, you want to reject me? Oh, you want to wanna play games? Oh, you want to um, ignore me? Oh, you want to give me the scene? Oh, that's good. You're going to feel it now. Something's about to disappear on your ass. I just saw 11 11. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a magnetic attraction to your person but it could be a magnetic attraction to where you're going and i get that with the queen of wands here and all of these pentacles there is a lot of pentacles and with all of the the, the cup cards being in reverse i feel as though you're going towards something that you're very passionate about um something that you may a wish may come true today i don't know but it looks like it could it looks like maybe even if you make the decision, like if you're in two minds about about work and love, Scorps, put love on the back burner today and focus on, on your coins. Um, because when you keep an open mind, remember I talk about the void and the vortex? It's like pull back the energy, pull back your energy and it will suck whatever it is that you want in but I think where you need to go push forward definitely push forward towards pentacles today okay let's get some advice just be yourself Scorps you're a great person enjoy being yourself yeah we get to ride unicorns <laughs> Listen to your true feelings. Don't let others talk you into doing something you know is wrong. Scorps, this is one of these things, okay? We don't need to, we don't need the advice of others. Alright? We don't. We are we have already seen more of the future than most. Um it's a given. It, it, it's 1313. 13. It's what it's one of our gifts. I mean it's the gift of insight. It, well, you always know when it's 8 o'clock down here. Um, it's We're so intuitive. It gives us, especially if we're evolved Scorpios, you know. If you're here and you're a Scorpio and you're just learning about your gifts or you're just learning about your intuition, um, just know that the more faith you have in yourself, the more you open up and learn to deal with emotions, we are a water sign. We're meant to go like this. We're meant to. We're not meant to just be like, we're meant to be like this. So we take the ups and the downs. It's kind of, um, looking at that, it's kind of relaxing, don't you think? Listen to your true feelings. Listen to your gut. Listen to your instincts. And don't listen to others. Exactly. Stay in your integrity. Okay, it's so important. I trust my ability to know what's true for me. You know what's true for you. You do, but you have to trust yourself. I trust you. I trust you. If you don't have anyone in your life to trust you, I trust you. I trust that you will learn about yourself. I didn't start to spiritually evolve. I knew I had like gifts, but I didn't start to spiritually evolve until I started to trust myself. And, uh, and I went through a whole bunch of crap before that. So, you know, Scorpios, we go through these phases, don't forget. All right, Moonology advice, please. Be bold and make the first move. 
a time to give rather than take and hold your vision. Wow. Scorps, be bold and make the first move. Pull back. Focus on your pentacles. Go for that job interview. Um, start writing that book. Um, make your first YouTube video. Open up a TikTok. Do first TikTok. I mean, anything. Anything that's going to fill your cup. Uh, because your cup is, is running empty. Your cups are upside down today. And they are the beginning of love. Like they're the beginning of emotional contentment. And they're upside down. So fill your own cup today. Um, it's a time to give rather than take. And I always feel with this card. It's time to give back to yourself. You may have been over giving with somebody. And it's time to just like be... I'm going to put more work into my work. Okay? You're just giving to something else. Hold your vision. If you've got a plan or you've got like an idea, hold it. Keep it. That's the message today. Don't lose focus. Right, let's get uh, some of these funny ass cards. Let's see what they've got for us. Bad assery. Engaging in seemingly impossible activities and achieving success in a matter that renders all onlookers completely awestruck. Bad assery. This is our um, mojo today. This is the word that you are going to repeat in your head today, Scorps. You are bad assery. Everything is bad assery. I got called pretty today. Well, actually, the full statement was, you're pretty annoying, but I only focus on the positive things. <laughs> That's such a scorpion. <laughs> That's such a scorpion card, man. Straight up. That's fucking funny. Monday has been cancelled. Everybody go back to bed. <laughs> Hey, it is what it is. Scorps, we love our own company. We love to, you know, just do what we want to do. So let's just say any weekday is cancelled. Go back to bed, you know. Ignore what people are saying. Stick to your guns. Be bold and make the first move. If it means pulling back, do that. Okay, you've got this in the bag. Especially with that Queen of Wands there and the King of Pentacles. Keep an open mind, Scorps. This um, love situation, it's not going anywhere. You know? So don't stress out about it. You got this. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. And don't forget to please comment. Are you a Santa or a Grinch? I'm doing a tally. I'm doing a tally. So um, next week... Or the next couple of weeks, actually, I might wait till Christmas and I'll do a Christmas special. And um, we'll see how many Grinches and Santas we have in, on this channel. And on Catalyst Tarot, I'll tell you them up. Just a bit of fun for Christmas. Because I'm i the Grinch, just don't tell anyone. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.